decision is a gamble, and every move can be your last. High Rollers! Folks, Crazy Clamor 80 here again. Time for another game show review, and this is of the classic High Rollers, which uh, was released from 1974 to 76, 1978 to 80, and 1987 to 88. This was uh, released on NBC uh, from July 1, 1974 to June 11, 1976, and April 24, 1978 to June 20, 1980, uh, initially. The executive producers were Merrill Heater and Bob Quigley. Director was Jerome Shaw. Host was Alex Trebek. Hostesses, who rolled the dice initially, were Ruta Lee and Elaine Stewart. The theme was Stan Worth, announcer Kenny Williams, and based on the old dice game, Shut the Box. It aired around 10.30 to 11 in the morning on NBC. Uh, replaced Wizard of Odds, which Alex also hosted, and Wheel of Fortune, was replaced by Celebrity Sweepstakes and The David Letterman Show at various times during its run, uh, followed by Winning Streak, Wheel of Fortune, Celebrity Sweepstakes, or Hollywood Squares, followed by Wheel of Fortune, or Hollywood Squares, taped at NBC Studios in Burbank, California, and distributed by Rhodes Productions. <laughs> Alex 
Alex Trebek. Thank you very much. Happy Fourth. Nice to have you joining us on High Rollers. Let's get right to it. The dice that our players are going to be using to win prizes that are on this board under these nine numbers. Cash, merchandise, great vacations. Our matches are best two games out of three. Whoever wins a match plays the big numbers back here for $10,000 in cash. And now, the lady who rolls the dice, Miss Ruta Lee. Oh! What? <laughs> Ruta, come here, Ruta. The 4th of July yes. opening. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, I was about to ask you, did you bring the sparklers? And the sparklers came in a little fast. You okay? The sparklers came in just you, a little fast today. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you very you much. Are able to go on? I think so. If I keel over, it'll be in a dead faint because it's a happy birthday to Look, America. Look, I, I know they said, you know, do something different for the 4th of July, but <laughs> you're taking it a little too literally. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Uh, at any rate, here's how the game was played. Alex would read a question, usually true, false, yes, no, or multiple choice, and uh, a contestant that buzzed in and answered correct correctly, or if their opponent buzzed in and missed or uh, failed to answer, they would get control of the dice, or Ruta Lee or Elaine Stewart would roll the dice for them. And uh, their goal was to eliminate numbers off of a board, uh, one through nine. And uh, each number that was eliminated, they could win a prize if they won the game. To win the game, they had to eliminate as many of those numbers as they could, or uh, uh, if, they, if they eliminated them all, they won or if they uh, got their opponent to make a bad roll, a roll that of the two dice that did not add up to any remaining numbers, then they would win. Question of the second game. Is it a material known as broadcloth, ticking, or gingham, which is used as a mattress covering? How about gingham? Ooh. Well, it would be very attractive, but it probably wouldn't wear oh. as well as ticking. Ticking is what covers a mattress, and that means you get control to start the game. Pat, an automatic roll. Ruta, roll all three of them. How Good about girl. That for an eight. An eight. Okay. How do you want to play it? One, three, four. One, three, and four combination for her. Under the one, the first of three prizes. Fifty dollars in cash. Under the three, a digital watch, and under the four, one thousand gallons of gasoline. And as you know, if you've watched the program before, whenever we have gasoline or tires, we also have a 1975 automobile. Two halves up there. You have to find both and win the game in order to get it. Do you get control of the dice? Okay. Well, here's a chance to find the other half of the car. Five, eight, and nine. Four is no good. Sorry about that. The match is all tied up. You've done a great. Congratulations. Nice work. The winner of two games was the champ and got to play the bonus game called The Big Numbers. And what they did, what they tried to do was eliminate all the numbers for $10,000 in cash. And uh, uh, Ruta, the, the hostess, Ruta or uh, uh, Elaine, would roll the dice for them. If they rolled doubles in this bonus game, they would they would get an insurance marker. If they had a bad roll, they would give up that insurance marker and they could go again. Uh, of course, if they uh, ended up with a bad roll and had no insurance markers left, they would lose the game. We get set to play the big numbers with our new champion, Pat. $100 for each number on the board. And if you manage to get all of them off there, then you've got $10,000. It's as simple as that. I'm still recuperating from South America. <laughs> yeah, that, that is an exciting that trip. I hope you get a lot of fun on that one. Insurance markers, anytime Ruta rolls a double. Here we go, Ruta. Here we go. Let's start with a double, 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 double. Oh. Start with a four. A four. That four is coming off. You've got $100. Roll again. Come on, double. Eleven. Oh. Nice biggie. Three. Eight and three. You heard her? Three hundred dollars. Roll again. Doubles. Where are you? Four. Four. Oh, Oops. Oh. No way of making the four. Oh. One and 
two up there. Sorry. Get too far, did no, we? That's all right. <laughs> Pat, we you have never, uh, never had anyone stop <laughs> after three numbers no. with the big numbers. So that's a first a for you. First you set a record. <laughs> Let's see if you can set some other kind of records. Okay. okay? I'll try. You've got twenty-six hundred dollars, which in is South pretty America, good going, and South, South America. So let us take a break, and we will introduce our next player after this. Well, some final thoughts on the 74 to 76 version of High Rollers. Uh, the syndicated version had both players playing the full game, uh, or the whole episode, and it was just a one-game match. Uh, so they played a, a whole lot of bonus games during that. Um, Ruta Lee, she was very pretty. I liked her. She was, she was very sweet. Um, I liked her more than Elaine Stewart, who was... Uh, Meryl Heater's wife, um, but uh, ultimately the hostess rolling the dice just wasn't as fun as the uh, contestants rolling the dice, which they went to for the uh, 78 to 80 version. Alex Trebek. There you go. Oh. Oh. All right, here we go. Security salesman. He joined us at the tail end of our last program. He's also the father of two from El Toro. His name is Tom Burns, the third, by the way. He faces our champion, a CPA, who is a marathoner. He uh, lives in La Crescenta, and his name is John Armstrong. Welcome him back, please. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Good morning. How are you doing today? Fine. All right. Hey, we're all in our pastels. It's nice. Good. The end of March. The weather is changing all across the country. Spring is in the air. Yes, indeed. On the uh, last program, we had done all of our work. We put the prizes on the board. Let's take a quick look, and you'll see what we have. We've got close to 11,000 in column one. Five prizes there, including a full-length fur coat. Two holidays, one in Mexico, one in Las Vegas, in the middle for 9438 in column three, a Palm Springs vacation and a super bathtub with a total of 7,924 in prizes. Now note that the uh, numbers are in columns now and that there are uh, prizes associated with each column. If a column was eliminated by a player, the player would get those prizes, but they would only keep them if they won that game. And the uh, the font of the numbers would change from game to game and they would fill up one number at a time which I thought was really cool. I'm gonna be right. Okay. No. You're Stick right. with me. I ten. say two. It's two. Ten. It's a ten and two. Five, three, and two adds up to ten. We're gonna take a break. If a baseball player has been to bat four times and gotten one hit, what's his average? 250. 250. You got it. You roll him. Ten. Four. 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 I'll take the four. It comes out. Five. Need an even roll. That's not nice. That means John Armstrong remains champion on high rollers. Picks up another prize, goes to close to 18,000. Five and an eight. Double another double two. twos. Three roll. We'll get some balance here. Here we go. Come on, guys. Five, you see, you oh. keep trying, you're eventually going to hit the right number. Okay. Now you're only eight. Eight! 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 Ten. Take the marker. Got to do it now. Okay, eight. 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 <laughs> what a super morning this is turning out to be for our contestants on High Roll. If you'll pardon the pun, ladies and gentlemen, we are on a roll this week. And to give you some idea of exactly how wild things are getting in the past 30 minutes on High Rollers, today we've given away over $41,000 in prizes. Oh Could happen again soon. See you then on High Rollers. Contestant received.
Bob Begley production. From here to eternity, tomorrow on NBC. Some closing thoughts on the 78 to 80 version of High Rollers. This was far and away my favorite uh, incarnation of the show. Alex Trebek was a wonderful host. He had a little bit of a weird sense of humor sometimes, but I think it fit in perfectly with this show, which was, you know, considerably less serious than uh, his later Jeopardy. Um, before this show, Alex did uh, Wizard of Odds, and uh, in between the versions, his versions of uh, High Rollers, he did Double Dare, and after High Rollers, he did Pitfall and Battle Stars and Jeopardy. And now let's look at the 87 to 88 version of High Rollers. And now a game of high stakes where every decision is a gamble and every move to be your last. Thanks, everybody, and welcome once again to High Rollers. Skill, strategy, sabotage, and these unpredictable dice are the elements we have for all of you as these players try to win prizes today totaling over $8,000 that are already on our game board. And that's our first game with much more to follow after that. Whoever wins a two out of three game match plays the big numbers for $10,000 in cash. Jill Ann did that yesterday, and she's trying to do it again today. Who knows, it could happen to one of these lucky people, our current champion, with so much. She has a trip to Israel, a trip around the world, a trip to Mexico, handbags. Uh, oh, I mean, she's got a lot of good things. $18,987 worth of cash and prizes. Jill Ann Down from Las Vegas, Nevada. Former cheerleader, right? Was that a high school or college cheerleader? College at BYU. BYU. Young University. Yeah, they do well in basketball oh, oh, yeah. and football. Yeah. Football, yeah. Very That's good scholastically, too. Jill Ann, welcome back to the show. Thank good you. luck as you try to continue your winning ways. Thank you. And say hello also, everybody, to did you hold some of that applause for Randy Melthratter from Las Vegas? Uh, got some fans out there. That second player, Randy, won over sixty thousand dollars on Press Your Luck. Um the this version of High Rollers was syndicated from September 14, 1987 to September 9, 1988. Announcer was Dean Goss. Host was Wink Martindale. Ex uh, executive producer was Merrill Heater. The theme was from Score Productions. Distributor was Orion Television. It was filmed at Television City in Hollywood, California. Only one prize was per column in this version. A special game may be played if a certain column was cleared, and that game was won begin at the beginning Dean dramatically beautiful designer glass by stained glass overlay transforms any window or glass surface into a work of art with choices of design and color furnished by stained glass overlay it will enhance your Bassett's Laurent dining room this elegant dining set includes a china base and hutch with lights and grills a server an oval table with four chairs furnished by Bassett this column is valued at $2,183 now let's move next door and move the column to for the golfer, you may call these ties par excellence. It's the set of five permanently dyed, handcrafted golf ties, furnished by Ralph Marlin and Company. And you can wear your ties when you tee off with Pin Seeker set of custom-made golf clubs, including stainless steel woods with matching radius sole irons, and a deluxe staff bag, furnished by Pin Seeker. And you can tee off in Kauai. We'll fly you to the romantic Garden Island of Kauai, where you may enjoy a week at the Island Holiday Tours beautiful Waiohai Hotel and Resort. Your Travel Savers travel agent has arranged for your airfare and gourmet food, furnished by Travel Savers. This column is valued at $4,305. And one more column to go, Dean, number three, please. For today's look, Baroni designed a sleek contemporary bar in white polyester lacquer and crystal clear acrylic, furnished by Baroni. And each bar is furnished with an acrylic ice bucket and complete bar set. Glass door and close the store storage area for a clean and modern look with two bar stools to keep you sitting pretty. Furnished by Veroni. This column is valued at $2,880, which brings the total board value to $9,368. These are the nine numbers you have to deal with and the way they line up in the three columns. 
Hot columns, the third one, a roll of a 12, will give you that beautiful bar worth $2,880. Here's your first question, Patty and Randy. In what era in America did really short miniskirts first become popular? Randy? The 60s. You know, don't you? Yeah, he was looking around in the 60s. That's All right. right, 1960s. All right, Randy. Okay. Let's see the 12. Double, let's have a box part. 12, 6. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh... Let's see, I'll take the uh, four and the two. Wait. Four and the two it shall be then, leaving only the six in the third column. For yours, what do you do with them? Gonna pass. As if I didn't know. Patty, you gotta have a seven or a double to stay alive. Seven! She did it! She did it! <laughs> well, there were over 20 different uh, special games that a player could uh, play if they claimed the uh, bonus game or whatever uh, from a column. And this one is called It Takes Two. And we'll go ahead and look at a little uh, footage of that. Now we put the spotlight on Randy. First of all, we're going to play It Takes Two. Take a look at these six prizes. Prize number one is an amethyst ring worth $1,000. Second prize, big screen television worth $2,669. How about a trip to Paris, prize three, worth $2,412. Or your wife might like a fox coat worth almost $5,000. Number five prize, drums and a keyboard worth $5,024. And prize number six, the best of them all, a Mickey Mouse watch, worth $100. All right, everybody should have one. Now, as you can see, Randy, each of those tempting prizes has a number. Some items are much more tempting than others, of course. You must take the die, one die, and roll it. Whichever number you roll two times, that's the prize you get to take home. Okay. You keep rolling until you repeat a number, all righty? I'm going to hold these gold ones till later. Sure. Put that one over here. You pick that one okay. up and roll away. All right, I want a three. Roll I want to go to Paris. I want, to go to Paris. So I want a three. So he wants a three. I want a three. There's three. a three. Yeah. We're going to bring it back to you. If you roll another three, you'll go to Paris. All for a right, come on. Over Paris. I want to see Paris. Can he roll a three? No, he's rolled a one. Now, if you roll another one, you'll get the amethyst ring worth $1,000. Okay. All right, One come and on three, three are the come live on numbers. Three. One come or three. three. One or three. Two. Two. That's worth the big screen three television TV. worth $2,669. Right. So the live numbers are one. Two and three. Okay, come Whichever on. I want, three. I want a That's three. I want a three. I want a three. Three. You're going to Paris. Paris. Yeah. Listen to Dean. Yeah. Yeah. We'll fly you to Paris on Trans World Airlines wide body jets. You'll be hosted by a spirited flight crew and airport staff. Experience comfort, hospitality, and especially service furnished by TWA. Then spend a week at the ultra modern Pullman Hotel San Jacques on the exciting left bank with 800 rooms, four restaurants, and a shopping gallery. Enjoy gourmet food and famous. French hospitality, furnished by the Pullman Saint Jacques, and valued at $2,412. Randy has the golden dice in his hands. He won the right to play the big numbers for a possible $10,000. You get that ten grand if you knock off all nine numbers. Leading up to that, though, you get $100 for each number you do get rid of. You want all of them, don't I you? I want $10,000. You want for the whole thing. I want thing. to go to Paris and stop. All right, by the way, we also have these insurance markers if you roll a double, that can really okay. get you out of trouble. It's all up Come to you, on, sir. Come on, I want some big You're numbers. You're from Vegas. I want You've some double. Big numbers. Big numbers. Double. He double. has rolled a four. A four. Uh, take the four, Wayne. Off Come comes on. the four. Dice go all back right. to him. Come he has $100. On. Big numbers. I want doubles. I want doubles. You double. 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 For a marker. Eight. Eight. Uh, take the eight, Wayne. Off comes the eight. You have $200. Okay, Reaching come on. for a possible 10 grand. Big numbers, you can get big numbers. Double, 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 double. What's he get? Seven. Yeah. Uh, take the seven. All right, you're away with the seven. You're up All to right, $300. Come on. Man. come on now. Let's see. I want big numbers. He talks to the other dice and comes up with an eight. eight. Uh, take the uh, five, two, and one. Five, two, and one. All right, that leaves the three, the six, and the nine. Okay. Okay, big back numbers. to the rolling I want of the doubles. dice. I want doubles. I want doubles. He comes up with... A ten. ten. Oh, you can't do that one. And no insurance markers, Randy. Oh, well. If you had that to do over, would you do it differently? I might have. <laughs> it just didn't add up, add up my head when I was looking at it. That's okay, Randy. You still have $6,335 in right. cash and prizes. And some very nice things. We'll be back to start a brand new match with our new champion right after this. And that bell means that we're going to have to stop for today. But we'll pick up right here. What a way to stop, huh? Right, right. right on the edge of the cliff. You're on time. I can't believe it. They made it. So we'll play off the match, the rubber game, first thing on the next show. Goodbye, everybody. To Crystal and Casey, I'm the Winker. Bye-bye. Some of us... This has been a Merrill Heater production in association with Century Towers Productions. Some final thoughts on all versions of High Rollers. Um, 
uh, on all the versions, prizes that were accrued were lost if uh, the contestant that got the prizes did not win that game. Late in the uh, uh, daytime NBC version, there was a game called Facelifters that was played uh, during the course of a game. The numbers each hit a part of a picture of a famous person. A contestant that correctly guessed the person won the game and all the prizes. Uh, Alex Trebek died at the age of 80 last year, very sadly. I thought he was a fantastic host, especially of high rollers. And I thought he was best with high rollers, uh, more so than Jeopardy. I thought he was just the perfect host for high rollers. Wink Martindale wasn't too bad, but I, I, I didn't care for the uh, final version of High Rollers as much as I did the uh, uh, NBC Daytime one of 78 to 80. I thought that was the uh, perfect version. Um, there was also some home games of High Rollers. There was a board game in 1975 and a board game in 1987. And there was a computer game based on the uh, 87 to 88 series for the Commodore 64, the Apple II, and DOS. But this was my review of High Rollers and all the versions of High Rollers. Fantastic show. Uh, I could definitely see it being revived one of these days. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80s, and thanks for watching my review on High Rollers. Fantastic game show of the 70s and 80s. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a little something more about the show that you didn't know before. And I hope to see you soon for my next video, which, which will uh, kick off our requests again. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.